Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Nice to meet with you again. Let's try to solve this 10th grade surface area and volumes example, which is an interesting example related to volume of cones. We have been given that a metallic right circular cone 20 cm high and whose vertical angle is 60 degrees is cut into two parts at the middle of its height by a plane parallel to its base. If the frustum so obtained be drawn into a wire of diameter 1 by 16 centimeter find the length of the wire so let's understand what is the approach we have to follow for this particular problem what's given to us first we have been told that there is a circular cone of 20 centimeter high and we cut that we cut that by a plane parallel to its base then we got the frustum of the cone now this metallic cone frustum is drawn into a wire of diameter of 1 by 16 centimeter that means actually we'll write down here first step cone from the cone let's get frustum so once we got the frustum after that our next step should be volume of the frustum is equal to volume of the frustum is equal to volume of the wire now what's volume of wire means volume of wire means volume of cylinder because the wire is drawn into a diameter of 1 by 16 centimeter find the length that means this frustum whatever we got metallic is converted into a volume of a wire into a wire of diameter 1 by 16 of a certain length that means it becomes cylinder so we are converting a frustum of cone into a cylinder both the volumes are equal now only the problem is we know the formula of volume of frustum we know the formula for volume of cylinder so let's write it down and try to understand how to get the length of the wire before that let me just let me just put down the frustum let's cut this into two parts and make it a frustum so we have divided the cone into two parts i have done this this is the middle of the height and a plane parallel to base so cut into two parts whatever we have in pink color is nothing but the frustum of the cone so we don't need that part which is above we will erase it before that we want to find out what is r1 and what is r2 we don't we need to know r1 and r2 to go ahead with the volume of the frustum so let's find out what is r1 and what is r2 so this is r1 we know and this is r2 and we know that this height is 10 centimeter because we have cut it exactly at the middle so this is 10 centimeter obviously the height of the the height of the frustum is nothing but 10 centimeter because total is 10 so we know that okay now what is the volume of frustum formula that's equal to pi into h by 3 into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 now i know height equal to 10 centimeter we know that let's write it down we know h equal to 10 centimeter now how to find out r1 equal to how much r2 equal to how much we know the vertical angle so we can use a little bit of trigonometry here because we know this is like another triangle let me put the triangle somewhere here there's a triangle like this if you look at this part we have this is 10 okay now we have the height 10 so we have to find out here r1 we have to find out r2 we know this height is 10 this height is 10 and we know this angle is 30 degrees then i can say tan 30 equal to r1 by 10 or r1 equal to 10 into tan 30 nothing but 10 by root 3 so r1 is 10 by root 3 centimeter similarly r2 is 20 by root 3 centimeter why because 
for R2 you have to take the total height that's nothing but tan 30 equal to R2 by 20 let me write it down here tan 30 is also equal to R2 by 20 so that will give you R2 equal to that will give you R2 equal to 20 by root 3 okay now once we know R1, R2 and H we can easily find out the volume of frustum so let's write it down pi by 3 into H what is the height of the frustum of the cone that's 10 centimeter we know that 10 into R1 square what is R1 square that is nothing but 10 by root 3 whole square can I say 100 by 3 plus R2 square that is nothing but 20 square by root 3 this is root 3 that's root 3 there so we have 400 by 3 plus R1 R2 R1 R2 is 10 into 2200 by root 3 into root 3 is 3 so this is equal to 10 pi by 3 multiplied with take LCM there we will have 700 by 3 or can I say 7000 pi divided by 9 centimeter cube this is the volume of the frustum now we will find out what is the volume of the wire what is volume of wire volume of cylinder formula is pi r square h we know radius we can find out from diameter we have to find out h or nothing but the length so let's go to the next step so volume of wire volume of wire is equal to we got volume of frustum you remember that that's equal to 7000 into pi by 9 you can ask me why you left the pi like that because I know I will have pi r square pi and pi will cancel out volume of y equal to pi into r of the wire r w square into length that is what we have to find out now pi into r w we know the diameter is 1 by 16 so the radius will be how much we'll write down here r w equal to 1 by 32 centimeter because diameter is 1 by 16 radius will be 1 by 2 so 1 by 32 into 1 by 32 into L now this volume should be equal to volume of the frustum because the frustum is drawn into a wire of diameter that means the whole metal whatever is there it's a metallic cone so you have completely the volume of the cone should be equal to volume of the wire because you are recasting the frustum into a cylinder now okay so let's equate these two volumes this is volume of the frustum this is the volume of the frustum and this is the volume of the cylinder so this both we will equate and we will write down the next step so remember that that is pi into l by 1024 so equating both the volumes we have volume of the frustum is 7000 by 9 into pi and volume of the wire is pi into L by 1024 equate both of them I can cancel pi and pi so my next step will be L equal to I can do cross multiplication 1024 into 7000 by 9 centimeter can I write it as also 1024 into 70 by 9 meter because we know that 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter now let's simplify this that's equal to 71680 1024 into 7 is 7168 so I have to multiply with 10 divide by 10 now let's do this 9 seven are 63 you have 8 86 9 nines are 81 5 58 9 six are 54 you have 4 so 40 9 fours are 36 again you have so the 4 is recurring that's nothing but the length of the wire so what's the approach to this problem 
first we have to understand what I have to equate to which category this problem goes. First looking at the problem, you know that cone converted into frustum. Then after that the frustum is drawn into a wear. That means it's a problem of recasting. The frustum is recasted into a cylinder. So we know the volume of frustum. We know the volume of cylinder. Always recasting means the volume is always the same. So we know the volume of frustum for that one pi h by 3 into r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2. Only the thing is r1 r2 are not directly given to us. But we know a little bit of trigonometry by taking the help of the vertical angle. We can easily find out what is r1 and what is r2. Once we got r1 r2 we got the volume of the frustum. Then we know this is equal to volume of the cylinder. We know the diameter of the cylinder but we have to find out the h. So equate both of them, do little bit of math, tweaking it, you will get that length of the wire is equal to 7964.44 meters. That's one interesting example with respect to surface area and volumes and volume of cones. So I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Till then, thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.